What is going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Zin and Zims? What's up? Long time no see, and today we're gonna have a real hype win. So, the poll word. There are few games that seem to crop out at random trailer filled showcases, promising something that looks so strange, it's not unbelievable. Sometimes the trailers turn a little too good to be true. Well, Pal word somehow is not on those. Pocket Pair Paul word is about living on the island with a variety of the mysterious fantastical creatures called Paws. What do you do from there is your choice. Train them, use them to fight the evil poaching syndicate or build an exploratory industry around them. Even sell them or eat them, it's really up to you. To call this Pokemon with the guns is fairly accurate. Sure, Paul Ward wears its inspiration on its sleeves. It's also a bit more and a bit stranger than that concept would imply. So we here at the Stryptoid Task 2 of our bravest adventures, Eric and Zoe, when venturing deep into the early access build of Paul Ward to learn more. There are different people now than they were before, but also a fair amount about the Paul Ward. Here are the takeaways, so, um, pal word is not my pal, I don't mean to say that I think the game is poor quality or I didn't enjoy it, what I have played I've essentially enjoyed, pal word is less Pokemon with the guns and more arc survival and world with Pokemon, it's a survival uh, crafting game and it succeeds in the way it manages to make hours of disappear. But it's not my poll because it won't let me play it. So every hour or so, poll words have crushes my computer. Straight up, everything stops, I see a black screen, and I have to turn my PC black again. And I have slashing my credentials, but I've worked in IT for 9 years. Troubleshooting a video game is a lot easier than remotely fixing that lawyer's property software, but the poll word didn't give me a lot to go on. It doesn't blue screens my PC, it just shoots down entirely. This is no minding log, but the Windows event viewer doesn't give a stop error, which uh, it says the system has rebooted without cleanly shutting down first. I have very little data to figure out what's going wrong. It's like Palboard broke my into my apartment and held down the power button of my PC until it did have a sh hard shutdown. So, it's like a clockwork. Everything works fine and then it's all over. Paul Ward at least saves often, so each time I re-entered the game, I didn't have to repeat too much. I consider just playing throughout the crashes like I did when Fallout New Vegas was new, but I'm concerned that too much hardware crashes would run the risk of corrupting portions of my hard drive. I'm therefore hesitant to play any more of Paul Ward until there is a patch for the game or a dry update for my GPU. That's a shame because I started up the game just to check on something. And I really wanted to start playing and then on the main splash screen I note in the message. Paul words in early access. You may inquire bugs or crashes. That I certainly did. And I enjoyed that in nearly 3 hours I played as far as survival crafting games it feels like a bit simple. There is a nice twist of assigning captured pals to you base both hold the fort and take care of some of the chores. At some point midway throughout crafting an assault rifle upgraded to my grass type Paul Tanzi, I had to pause the reflect on what I have had done. I was about to put a military rifle in the heads of somewhat sentimental animal, a seemingly innocent and adorable creature hoping in place that the bullets in generical direction would be ace in ace hole I needed against a particular throughout the boss trainer. I considered it, decided it was cool and went back to work. Well, that's been my takeaway from the pal what so far, a game full of the surprises. Granted I had only followed it throughout the novelty to its point, it was the game that would show up an SGF on the Game Awards or a similar stream, and I remarked the Pokemon with guns and move on. Yet part of me wanted to see if this would be a days before Esque disaster waiting to happen. Kudos to Pocket Pair, this is absolutely isn't. In fact, it may be one of the year's yearly surprise. While the Pal Ward has you crushing the monsters, it's not just about taking that batting like in-game freak developing inspiration. And to be clear, I don't think it's a breach. 
Everything about Palworld has a legally distring approximation wire down to the clever names, elemental typing, and even visual designs. So after an hour or so uh, running around catching the monsters and seeing the open world expand, I figured that was the draw. There's not really a funnier moment in the gaming in recent memory than realizing to catch my first Paul and I have to beat them up with my first weekend to capture it and all will appear and that make for some funny videos on the socials. But it was once I started building all my base uh, back home and I saw the real draw, or maybe at least the draw for me. While every Paul can be taken to the combat and used as a sidekick and on side, you own the creep a uh, character martial capabilities that they can also be put work back your base and as i delve deeper into the work sustainability specialities that dictate each pulse talents and how those could ultimate production i feel deep down the rabbit hole my sole focus was now building a humming fine tuned factory for producing goods and advancing technology like Sid Meier's civilization gunning for the sense of victory, I was storming throughout the tech tree, building a machine of power labor to get me there. Once natural resources like stone and wood became hubs and I could set adorable Katyvins to work on my occurring precious resources, I sought out paths not for their combat forces, but what they could do for my base. Transport goods, craft items, sea fields and water the crops. As my workshops and building expanded, I intersected a small fort and soon had defended against the invaders. So, what's impressive to me is the Palworld world is pretty openly following in the design footsteps. As much as there is Pokemon, especially Legend Arceus in the game, there are also Breed of the Wild and Rust, Walheim and Monster Hunter, and like a hearty stew, everything simmers right until it bleeds together. I'm hesitant to pen any full appraisals to the game yet, as I've most wild await the hours bidding a humid and technically questionable hub of profound and economy, it seems like there are bosses to conquer in some manner of story and probably some formidable pals to find and win over. I'm just pleasantly surprised that Pell World not only works but works so well, it's genuinely enjoyable even for me, someone who takes a while to warm up for the survival games. As a Dyson Sphere program and a satisfactory fund, the engaging automation creationally helps. We'll continue to follow Palworld as it develops throughout the early access, but right now, Pocket Pair has managed to do a success. A like, like unbelievable success. Because right now, the 24 hour peak in the Palworld, right now, it's 1,500,000. 182. Can you imagine? It's already up top the Counter Strike and it's beating up the Dota and the Baldur's Gate and the PUBG and even the Grand Thief after 2. We'll see how long the hype stands. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. You guys, peace.